All right. So I watched uh, No Samson's video, and I, I could, like about the, the debate pro problem, solving the debate pro problem. And I have to agree. Like, uh, just just the overall dickishness of like these debate bro douchebags who are like care more about logic. I mean, the, it's just insane to me. These people are like, we go outside, we touch grass, we're the normal ones. By the way, if you believe in land back and you, or, you know, like, you, you support, you know, some reparations for black people or, you know, whatever, you're, you just want to kill white people. It's just, no. No, and they're not equal. They're not the same, okay? I'm sorry, okay? I love white people. And I'm mostly, vast majority of my ancestors. And very much surpass for white, but I just, to write off, like, you know, like, any, like, FD signifier and just be like, you know, like this fucking Xanderthal acting like he's like, yeah, they act like they're the fucking the know all end all be alls. We're the all end all be alls of truth. FD Salinger is stupid. And, you know, it just takes us white people for some reason to be able to tell them, you know, like, you know, be able to do the, the main arbiters of truth as if that wasn't what led to this entire problem in the first place. Also, ugh, now I'm going to break off into Claudia Brown, who I'm so absolutely disgusted by. Like, ugh. She, somebody, I used to really respect the shit out of Claudia Brown. Oh! Why is it every time I'm in... Oh, hello, Henry. Every time I start recording a video or trying to record a video, like, somebody in chat starts speaking, and so now the video is ruined. I'm pissed off, but, like, uh, the idea, like, Claudia Brown was, you know, posting some stupid, absolutely stupid shit, and Claudia, this is really fucking stupid, right, just objective fucking fact stupid, like, oh, there's, like, people of color are bullying left, white leftists in their spaces, you know, and I wouldn't put up with it, because I'm a hardcore badass, and, you know, like, those colored people need to be put in their space, go fuck yourself, are you serious, really? Is that really something that's fucking happening? Do you have any verifiable evidence of this? Or is it just a fucking bullshit fucking argument that's being hand-fed to you by Bosch or fucking dipshit Stephen Bono? Who is another fucking idiot, by the way? Stephen Bono? Really fucking stupid, okay? Absolutely fucking one of the dumbest people on the fucking planet. Michael Brooks was brilliant. And he said, like, like especially in his um, analysis of certain people, like, there's a lot of high IQ morons out there. Infowars shed. Shut up, Henry. I'm not into the Infowars. But, like, um, there are a lot of high IQ morons out there. And let's be honest, like, Steven is very fucking intelligent. At least that's the way I find him. But when you fucking make a video and you say basically, oh, you know, when, when we're by ourselves, you know, me and our friends, we, we, you know, we say the N-word in the hard ER as a joke and stuff like that. And you, you say, like, this to make the most racist jokes. There is absolutely nothing stopping and it's 100% fucking fair for any person of color, or anybody really, to just assume the fucking worst. Alright? It's absolutely... Like, a lot of black people are justifiably fucking paranoid that every white person they come into contact with... <laughs> oh, really? Infowars? Oh, God. I'm tacking on Uncle Heard that today at Walmart. But, like, f you know, like, to assume the fucking worst and assume that you are making the most disgusting racist shit behind their backs when they aren't a fucking rob. They already assume that, you dumb motherfucker. And then to go on a great big squeal, you know, oh, how dare anybody else think I'm racist? Happy! Happy! And then your fucking dumbass followers be like, imagine being so brain dead as to engage with this argument that way. I'm not engaging with this fucking argument, you stupid motherfuckers who supposedly are fucking tapped into fucking reality. All right? I'm engaging with his fucking actions, alright? I'm talking about his dumbass fucking actions that speak louder than fucking words. And he is unbelievably fucking stupid. Oh, and I didn't understand any of it because he seems like he's an intelligent dude, and he is. But what finally gave me the insight into this dumb motherfucker and the stupid shit he comes to is that he was an Ayn Rand objectivist. And he still fucking is. One of his tweets today... Whether he realizes it, or realizes it or not, or is honest about it or not. Like, some guy, you know, is like, Oh, you're dumb, you fucking 
Wanted to become an actor, no issue with basic policy around you. So basically, it's like, you know, the same bullshit as always. If you fuck up, it's on you, and nobody deserves help because, you know, if you're all out for yourself, and fuck him. He's just a douchebag, and he's fucking stupid. I'm gonna make a fucking legit complaint. Sure, absolutely. Wanting the rioting to stop is absolutely 100% fucking fair. Alright? But to be like, oh, it's bad optics for Black Lives Matter. Now I'm gonna say something so fucking stupidly bad optics that I get unfucking partnered from Twitch and I blame everybody else except for my fucking self is really, really fucking stupid. And he was. F it was worse optics. Saying, I give white you know, militia types the, the right to mow down dipshit protesters who think it's okay to light buildings on fire. Okay, first of all, you dumb motherfucker, you said mow. Alright? When you mow the fucking grass, you don't just take out the fucking grass that's, like, annoying you. You mow it all down. So that would include the fucking nonviolent protesters, you mo dumb motherfucker. And second, it was really bad fucking optics. Okay, let's make a rule. You're always like... I'm, I'm gonna make a rule, okay? And the rule is, is that you can't be blah blah blah. Okay, first of all, you don't get to fucking make any rules. You're a dumb motherfucker who doesn't get to make fucking rules, okay? Second of all, the rules, like, um, it's a guy who's so fucking stupid as to say something so fucking inflammatory and then squeal and point your finger at everybody else's fucking fault and act like it's everybody else's fault that they thought that you might be a rapist, racist dipshit was such a fucking stupid thing and then you hide behind it. Oh, it was, it was taken out of context. I was being hyperbolic. Fuck you. It was not being hyperbolic. I thought you were more like a... Kramer losing his goddamn mind and he got to find out what he really felt about black people. That's what it seemed more like. It was not like a hyperbolic statement made with like most of intelligence. It was a, a guy at the wit's end and just squealing like a fucking pig on a honeymoon because he wasn't getting his way. And that the rioting wasn't stopping and that people weren't agreeing with him about the fucking rioting. Oh, by the way, your reaction, your emotional fucking reaction to fucking like rioting and like buildings burning down was far more visceral than anything about fucking black people being murdered by the police. All right? So you can fucking act like, oh, no, 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 dude. You care more for those fucking buildings than you do black people. That's why you're so fucking willing to fucking say it's okay to kill people to protect your property because, like, in the end, you don't give a shit. You just don't give a shit about human beings, you only give a shit about property, and you're a fucking, you're still an Ayn Rand objectivist, okay? You might have a few liberal beliefs, but I don't, I don't know if they're entirely honest. I think there's a good possibility you might be a sociopath. Because when, when people, when a guy is crying in front of you, one of your dumb fucking friends, why the hell would anybody be your friend? It, it's fucking beyond me. But like, um, one of your friends is crying in front of you and tearing up and you're laughing and your fucking loser followers who think they're fucking tough. None of them have ever been in a street fight. None of them have been rolling around on the fucking concrete. They're like, oh, I would know exactly what to do in every situation if I was a fucking woman. And I would be totally fine to say this and say that. Dude, shut the fuck up. You are unbelievably fucking socially stupid. You don't get to say, like, oh, it, it's amazing to me. It's amazing to me that this guy talks about going outside and touching grass and being realistic. When he just has no clue as to, like, you know, like, basic human decency, or at least how it's supposed to be. And I had the utmost of respect for Claudia Brown. Like, I just thought that she was, like, cooler than shit. But when she's, like, defending... Like, okay, she got pissed at me one time. Because I was telling... I was a big fan of Chris Porter, and I saw the, the stand-up where he was talking about... You know, stupid people shouldn't breed. And it was a joke. And so I got to an argument with, like, some idiot on Twitter. And I was saying, oh, you shouldn't breed. And then I got a really angry yelling message, you know, on Twitter. Like, all in caps. Like, it's not a good look. And then her boy, you know, like, and I was like, oh, wow, that was really stupid of me. I guess she's right. Yeah, that's not a good look to tell somebody they shouldn't breed. By the way, I'm going to keep my mouth fucking shut. When, like, my boy, and she's still, it's Steven is her boy, like, she is fucking number one Steven fan, like, thinks everything he does is the coolest shit of all time, is fucking literally saying absolutely stupid shit that gets him fucking unpartnered on Twitch, and it was all his own goddamn fault. He can point his finger around at everybody else, like every fucking libertarian ever, and say, it's everybody's fault but mine. 
but it was his own goddamn fault, and he's a fucking idiot. And she's just a fangirl. It's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. And, like, once again, I thought these people, like, I thought, like, man, I used to have respect for all these guys, but they're just douchebags. And Vosh, like, his response to the, the Samson thing, I don't know, I haven't watched a lot of this shit. I can't barely stand to watch the fucking annoying prick. Oh, by the way, um, uh, American Johnson, whatever. If somebody's gonna sit there and ask you, oh, why was it wrong for the Nazis to kill the Jewish people? It's okay to leave the fucking argument. You don't need a fucking argument about why that's wrong. You really fucking don't. In the real fucking world, right? Outside of your little dipshit fucking unbelievably stupid, like, fancy lands where, like, you know, like, these debates really matter outside of them. Nobody fucking needs it, alright? Nobody fucking needs an argument about why the, the Nazis killing all those Jewish people was fucking wrong. They really don't, okay? And it's really fucking weird that you stupid motherfuckers think that, oh yeah, we need one, we need one, we need one that's totally devoid of all human emotion whatsoever, is unbelievably fucking stupid as shit. It is so fucking stupid. Just like when Steven, like, I used to be a big fan of his, and he thought, he was, like, criticizing something in his chat, and he says, you guys need me. Because you need someone to argue against, like, um, pedophilia other than it's icky. Who the fuck thinks you need something more than fucking it's disgusting and gross, and we already are against fucking... Like, in his mind, the world was set to be like, Amos E, we're gonna follow Amos E, and we're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna make it legal for children to be molested. But then Steven came along, like the fucking mobster boy, Jordan Peterson, and was like, no, he came up with a non emotional fucking argument about how, like, pedophilia was wrong, and the world was fucking saved. No, it fucking wasn't, you stupid motherfucker. Once again, very intelligent, could come up with these stupid fucking arguments that in the end it didn't really fucking matter because nobody was gonna fucking make it legal. Oh, fuck, I just can't believe this guy. Just completely devoid of fucking human, you know, like, humanity and compassion. You know, when people are crying in front of him, he's laughing. He's a fucking douchebag. He's just an asshole. Ugh, fuck all those guys. Oh, and fuck Xanderthal, too, just because he's a... I like saying FD. I don't remember his name right now. I'm blanking. This is my first video. F FD signifier was stupid. I watched this fucking video about breaking bread. A lot of thought went into that. And to act like, oh, he's dumb is unbelievably fucking stupid. But hey, he gets to decide who is the good person and who is the bad people who deserve to be fucking on the platform. You know, you can't have any of the bad colors in there. Because if you do, then you know, you need Xanderthal and Claudia Brown to go in there and Steven and what's his nuts, Vosh to go in there and be like, Nope, these ones are the bad ones. You're not allowed to like those ones, so fuck him. Very much just shit. Alright, I think I'm done this video. That's all I need to make. After I'm done this fishing. Fucking, oh, it's just stupid, stupid, stupid. Very intelligent, but absolutely fucking dumb. He cares more. Like, they're just narcissists. That's the number one thing, is they care more about their personality and their fucking numbers and making money and being, like, and, you know, aggrandizing themselves more than they do about any fucking issues. And I get to make that statement, by the way, because Stephen said that about fucking, like, some guys he argued with about the fucking N-word. All right? I get to make that fucking argument. Because he said that, to, like, about, uh, uh, um... Jeez, I forget their names. Um, James Cole Cash, and oh my goodness, I forget the other guy. But it was with the surf, so fuck him. Oh Jesus Christ! 